welcome to A Clary Tale and welcome to the start of these Cornwall vlogs. I'm so excited to take you along with us. I'm nowhere near there yet, obviously, still in the study, um, but I've just got home from work and I've been wrapping up Simon's birthday present. Let me show you. <laughs> um, that's sort of the main reason why we're going this week. It's because it's his birthday, so it'll be a nice little celebration for him. He actually grew up in Cornwall. He was brought up in St Ives, so I'm really excited to see it, see all his memories in real life. Life. so yeah it should be good it should be a good little trip I'm gonna film everything and um, I am waiting for him to get home he gets home in about an hour so I've got some packing to do and as soon as he gets home we're gonna go and start our journey and when it comes to the trip I'll give you a sort of overview uh, tonight Wednesday night we are traveling down to Gloucester I think it's about a three and a half hour drive so we should get there around nine or ten and um, we've just booked in a simple ibis just to sleep really because it's going to be quite late and we want to head off early the next day and then the next morning we're going to be in cornwall and we're staying three nights in st ives in a castle <laughs> it's called tregenna castle so we're there for three nights and then we're heading back home and we're staying over the night in bristol we're going to see a bit of bristol before we head back up north so yeah it's gonna be a good trip i'm really excited i've i have been to cornwall before but i was six years old so i don't really remember too much um but it's gonna be great to have simon there because obviously he knows it like the back of his hand so it's gonna be like having my own little tour guide and yeah he's got loads of things planned as well he's booked us zip lining uh, over the Eason project which is really exciting so i'm just charging my gopro now actually because um it actually says you're allowed a gopro for the zip wire and um, so that's exciting so yeah lots of fun things that we're gonna get done. i don't know how many vlogs this will be i'll try and split it up maybe daily or every two days or something but it's five nights in total um and i'm really looking forward to seeing this part of the country so many people say cornwall's doesn't feel like you're in the uk so yeah it should be good and the weather is meant to be nice we've looked at the weather i'm going to take coats just in case because you never know uh, but because we are driving we don't need to worry about space and stuff so we're sharing a suitcase and i'm just going to pack some other things now and yeah get on our way right we're packed and ready we're just doing a quick stop off at Morrison's to grab some drinks and some sweets and some food for the journey and to get some cash out as well so yeah so we are on our way we've done a time check it's half six um, and I thought I will show you exactly where we're going so here is a map of the UK and we're starting up here in Liverpool and it's a five and a half hour journey and we're going right to the southwest of St. Ives down here. Um, not today though, we're going to be stopping off at Gloucester about halfway. Um, and then on the way home, we're going to be stopping off at Bristol. Well, we're here, we just got to the Ibis. This is it, the Ibis in Gloucester. Um, we stopped off for some dindins, and it's now about half nine, ten. So we're just going to go and check in. I'll show you the hotel room. Fairly nice. I thought it was going to be the first one. Oh, oh, it's just like the one in Paris. Oh, it's fine, isn't it? That'll do. We can check on our car here. <laughs> Right there. Yeah. Perfect. The shower in here is massive as well. It's 9 a.m. and we are just leaving our Gloucester Ibis and heading back onto the road. We're gonna get some breakfast, maybe find a Costa or something on the way, and in a few hours we'll be in St. Ives. On the road again. <laughs> Name that song. I've just said it, I've said the name of it. Um, so we are now, I'll show you. So we are here in Gloucester and this is where we're going, right to the tip. And it is three and a half hours. We should get there about half 12. We're stopping off at a services for some breakfast. Thank you. We're gonna have a Costa. Might get a croissant. What have we got then? 
here we go then we've got our cost of breakfast i've got a steamed milk and a chocolate twist and simon's got what have you got i've got a cappuccino and an almond croissant looks good well we're getting closer to the tip i turned the sat nav off though now because simon says he's going home <laughs> so when was the last time you were there oh probably about um six or seven years ago and when were you living there like what ages um probably from the age of eight to 24. wow yeah so and you've not been there i haven't been there for six or seven six. years so. outside of St. Ives. St. Ives has gone very um, expensive now it's a, because it's a very popular tourist destination. So we won't just see someone walking around the streets? Maybe, we might do. <laughs> well, there's a few friends that own shops and things that I'm going to go and buy some food off. Oh, so your we'll Cornish pasties and Cornish stuff. Cornish pasties and things like that, yeah. Are we going to be seeing any of like, where you used to live, your house and things? Yeah, we'll, we'll probably walk. So we're going to go and stay at Tregenna Castle. Yeah. And that's on the hill overlooking St. Ives, Ooh. near the, where I went to school. And so after we'll pass part of the, because uh, it's quite a big castle with golf courses and everything. We used to walk past the golf course every day on the way to school. That's so cool. And now you're staying there. And now I'm staying there. <laughs> Look, when we first moved down there, there was a, fl um, a flat. The, the, the restaurant is three stories high. Right. And so the top floor was the restaurant. There was the, the flat, the living accommodation for the restaurant. So when we first moved down there, we lived above it, and then, and then about uh, eight or ten years later, we bought a house. Okay. So then, there. who lived in the above the restaurant? Um, my grandparents. Oh really? Oh, so yeah. We relocated my mom's parents from uh, Sheffield, and they came down to Cornwall and lived above down the there. They lived above our restaurant. Yeah. And you used to work in that restaurant as well, didn't you? I worked in the restaurant from Did the age of nine. From the age of nine. Yeah, she started in the kitchen washing pots at nine years old. Wow, yeah. that doesn't happen these days. No. No. <laughs> so was that your brother and sister as well? Everybody was. Wow. Uh, school holidays, weekends. Yeah. Wow. And that's where I got my pocket money from. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I did that. Amazing. Got another hour and 57 minutes, which means we should get there at around one o'clock. Get it. I think so. We just passed the Cornwall sign and Sarah's really excited. <laughs> now we left Devon now. Devon where they make the green teas upside down, you see. They do it wrong, don't they? Do they? It wrong, yeah. <laughs> is Devon like the Cornwall, is it like the Lancashire and Yorkshire yeah, massive rivalry. fight? Yeah, yeah, the rivalry. Devon's one of those places that you just have to drive through to get to Cornwall. <laughs> Every time we see a signpost, there's got all these different names on it. He's like, played them in rugby. Oh, played them in rugby. Used to get a bus to them to say, play them in rugby. <laughs> I did. did. Did you win? Actually, most, well, most of the time, yeah. We were pretty good. Bob in, played them in rugby. <laughs> Another one. This bit feels a bit Lake district -y with all the hills. It's very Lake district isn't it? Yeah. We've moved on from places we played rugby to where I did my driving lessons. <laughs> you had to go to Penzance because there's no traffic lights in St. Ives. As if! I wonder if that's still the case. Probably. It's just a one-way system, that's why. That's mad. I'm so excited to see it. We're getting, it's starting to rain a little bit, but hopefully it'll get nicer for us. Oh look, welcome to St. Ives! Can you see that? Yep. 
That's the pretty, isn't it? Yeah, there used to be a little theme park in there. A theme park? In there, yeah. It used to be called, they have built houses in there now. It used to be called like Merlin's Magic Land or something. So we're just, this is basically St. Thomas now. That's Cornish Arms pub. I used to work there. Did you? Yeah. Trigana Road up there, High Trigana. That's where my school was. And here we go, Trigana Gardens, Trigana Castle. So, which entrance? There's two entrances. Which one should I go into? There it is, Trigana Castle. Trigana Castle. There's an entrance here. Go into this one. So because they've got so much land, they've built little houses that you can stay in as well on the property. Oh, they're like, nice. Yeah, castle approach that you can rent these places as well. With these little cottages. And then, you ready for it? Check this view oh. out. Ooh. There's the castle. The, the, I look can't at the see bay. it yet. Oh, there's the castle. Wow. And look at the view of the Sunrise Bay. This is amazing. Oh look, the wedding! <gasps> yeah, lots this of people I went to school with got married here. There's I that outdoor swimming pool <gasps> down there. Oh, yeah. So let's see if we can. This is a party. great place to get married. Yeah, lots of people get married here. Yeah, look at all these houses you can rent. Oh <gasps> wow! That's St. Ives. There's the island. Look. Oh my gosh! Looks amazing. This is a nice little reception, isn't it? We're going up here. We're going up through this gravel. Oh, up here. Yeah, so these are little coach houses. You can rent these rooms as well. Is this all part of the... Like, where would we be staying? We're going to stay in the main castle. Okay. But these are all kind of little holiday lets. Oh. They'll probably have kitchens and everything in them. It's so pretty, look. Oh, there's the leisure centre. Main reception. Oh, wow. Isn't this nice? Here we are. Oh, a proper key. Oh, it's cool. I think it's open. This is going to be nice, isn't it? What's that picture of? That's Godrevy Lighthouse. That's on the other side of the bay. Oh, looks nice. So we're going to go and check out the hotel a bit and we need to get our suitcase as well. Oh, is there a, is there a, a jacuzzi? There is There's one inside as well because they said... Is that a jacuzzi or a kid's pool? Oh, it could be a kid's pool. Oh, look, it says Trigena Castle in the actual pool. Yeah. <laughs> That is so, so nice to, be, to you get see across married the bay? there. There's got to oh, be the yeah. up there. But that's so surreal to see the town itself down there. Really? I used to see that view every single day. It's weird, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Should we go back into the main entrance? Yeah. Yeah, look, there's a, there's a wedding going on right now. There's a photographer in the window. How amazing. Should we pretend we're part of the wedding and get a free shampoos? <laughs> oh wow. Oh, this is the restaurant. Oh, it looks nice. I think they've done this up. Oh, look at this free brownie. Massive wardrobes in here. What's this one? A cup. Oh, there's so much storage. That's good, isn't it? We're gonna unpack a little bit. So we're just doing a little walk down to St. Ives Bay, is that what it's called, St. Ives Bay, um, to have a little look around for the first time for me, I'm really excited. Um, we are coming back though because at 4.30 I have booked Simon something that he doesn't know about yet, it's a surprise, he's seen it in my diary for the last week or so and he asks every day without fail, what are we doing at 4.30 to see if I, <laughs> if I break but I never did. So at 4.30 we're going to be coming back to the castle um, and then we've got dinner booked at 7 30 so it should be nice go down, yeah. oh are we oh this is nice it's very mm. it's really well looked after isn't it yeah 
very green. So these are all the houses and lodges that you can book. There's more back the way we came towards the golf courses, but there's some nice ones down here. Mm -hmm. It's a bit like a lodge from Centre Park, yes. isn't it? You're literally <clears throat> living in the wood. <laughs> so I actually walked this path. Did you? <laughs> yeah, I need to come up to the ledger centre. Wow. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. On the other side of the castle. Oh, look. It would be through the That's trees. It's insane. Yeah. Coming into the beach, look. So this is the main road that we turned off which would have carried you on into Sentai. You can't see the beach because it's so bright. Hold yeah. on, let me zoom in. <gasps> wow, look at that! There's a guy in the way. <laughs> look at that St. Ives Saint Hotel. Ives. Yeah. That used to be called the Port Minster Hotel. It's changed its name. Wow. Look at all the boats. And yeah, that's Port Minster Beach down there. Oh, I can hear the seagulls. The seagulls, I don't the seagulls. This St. Ives Harbour Hotel used to be called the Fourth Minster Hotel and my brother worked there. Oh really? Yeah, just I think he worked there in the summer or something like that during between university. This through road, that takes you up past the house we used to live at, so we'll go back that way. Okay. I bet this hotel's got some nice views. Yeah, you're on the other side you've got a view of Fourth Minster Beach, which is what it used to be called. These are all these are all added. <gasps> this didn't used to be here, this building here. Wow, look. This is all look different. at this, this would be nice to have a drink here. Yeah. So wow. It's the beach. I used to run on that beach. <laughs> of course, the St. Ives Bay. So there's the train line down there. Look at all the tents. Yeah, that's it. People just came on holiday, pitch a tent, and have a couple of weeks down here on the beach. You see the train line? This is the train line into St. Ives. Oh yeah. And you come through the, along the cliff. It's a new building up on the hill. Which one? Oh, along up there. with all the peaked arches up there. That's new. Oh, I bet that's got a good view. Yeah. Cool. I love that everyone's out doing, they've got canoes and peddlers. That's where we've come from. That's Trigetta Castle way up high. Down there, it's next to the to the tallest white building up front. Yeah. That's the old Woolworths. I used to work there. And to the left of it is a two white windows sticking out. Yeah. And the next to it is a grey building. Yeah. That's it. Wow. Oh, we'll pass it now. So this is it. This is where this is Simon's yeah. mum and dad's old restaurant. That's it. <gasps> it's lay. gorgeous. Did it look like this with the nice no, the front? Only, no. The only thing that changed is they made the windows bigger. The, the windows used to be just half the height. Okay, but it still has, it had the colour on nice yeah. brick on the and, front. And then below it used to be a fudge and an ice cream shop. Did it really? Like it where? Down, downstairs, where it is now. Okay. Ice cream and fudge it used to sell. And then the restaurant was up there. And then, the and then you lived up there. And then we lived above it. Oh my uh, gosh. The first two windows was our living room. Yeah. The middle one set back was our dining room and the far one was our kitchen. And then all the bedrooms were on the back. Wow, that is so cool. Yeah. And then look at your view. <laughs> That was your life. That's amazing. So this was this was the same. It was slate. Wow. The doors were the same, but it changed the steps. Ah, uh, we're gonna have a little sneaky look. Really? We made them bigger though, because the back was my dad's storeroom. Oh really? So they made the toilets bigger. Oh, and that was my dad's storeroom and our kitchen. So they made the kitchen bigger. And my dad used to cook where that wall pattern is now, the flat the wallpaper. Yeah. That's where my dad's chip fryer used to be. Wow. So he would cook there and we'd be cook we'd be cleaning plates and stuff in the kitchen, which is their kitchen now. And they have it open now, was yours yeah. open? No, no. Was, that was a wall because that was my dad's storeroom. All oh, that was my dad's storeroom. 
Okay. And then you'd walk around the corner and behind this wall, behind this window, yeah. there's this door to go upstairs into the flat. <gasps> Should we go in and look or not? Probably not. That was it. That was it. Wow. They put a microbrewery at the back of here, but it's yeah. closed where all these bins are. But this was where my dad parked his car <laughs> and where he used to have this storeroom to peel his potatoes. Oh, wow. So that's down there. This is so good. And the lifeboat pub, my sister used to work in there. I'm going to be, this whole vlog is going to be about where we used to work. <laughs> yeah, your life story. Yeah. This used to be the sour pasta shop, but when we first moved down here, this was um, Kodak. You used to get your photos developed in there. Really? Like one hour photo development. Yeah. In the, you know, in the liquid. Used to be in there. I'm just going to rename this vlog Where's Simon's that? Life, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Simon's Life Story. <laughs> so we just walk, carry on walking down this road. Oh, there's a food shop. Cornish food. That's always been a food shop. Has it? Yeah. But a lot of these are all just changing. They're all pasta shops now. Pasta shops in the That's what Cornwall's famous for. Wow. The sun has just come out as well. It's beautiful. I just saw this hat floating, I was so confused. <laughs> so apparently this is called the island and we're just going to walk all the way up here to have a look. It's got the, bl the blue, okay. it's stunning. You, this is an artist retreat because the, the, they say that there's something in the light that makes the blues different. Oh, it's gorgeous. So. It does look a sort of a Caribbean blue. Yeah, it's because of the, the, the it's sand. The, the sand, sand so yeah. Ice cream. We decided to stop off for a little ice cream. I've got mint chocolate chip, salmon's got what have you got? Rum raisin. Rum and raisin. And this is our view. <laughs> What's yours like? Good. Very good. Very rummy. <laughs> we went to this one here, it's just a little ice cream spot. We're up at the top now, looking out. It's gorgeous, it's really sunny. So we just walked up from this beach and now we're here. Look at this other beach. Yeah, so that's Porth Mia Beach, that's the main surfing beach. That was Porth Quidden. And it's called an island really, because if you think about it, if he's back in the day, before these buildings were here and they built the roads and everything, these two beaches basically would have met yeah. when the tide came in. The water would have basically surrounded this ah, whole thing. So, so we're technically on an island. Yeah, so we refer to it as the island. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This beach is nice too. Yeah, this is the best beach. Is it? That yeah, side? This is the, the, Why? I don't know, this is the number one beach. Everyone would come to this beach. When I was a kid, you'd surf on this beach. The youngsters would come to this beach. You know, the long beach over there, you see it in the distance now. That's Portminster Beach, which we walked past earlier. That would be that family beach with people with uh, young families. But this is where the kids used to hang out in summer. Ah, uh, this was where the cool kids... This is where we came in the summer, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is really nice. It's beautiful, isn't it? This was my playground this island. It's a big one that I spent hours there. Really? Yeah. When I was really young, we'd be climbing on the rocks. Don't tell me about that. So we're back in the hotel room, we just had a bit of a relax, Simon showered and I've told him the surprise. We are going to the spa and um, he's got a massage that I've booked for him. Are you excited? I am very excited. <laughs> and um, I am going to get my nails done, which is something I never do, so I'm looking forward to it. It's just polished, so that'll be really nice. So I'm going to get that done at the same time as his massage. Um, and then we're going to go for a little swim and I've got my GoPro, so I'll take you along with us for the swim and then after after that we're going for dinner so that is this evening um say as my first impressions just absolutely beautiful i love all the blues and everything and i didn't take any pictures so we're going to go back again tomorrow to take some pictures and have a bit more of an explore so the plan after the massage and the nails was to go into the pool but because I just had my nails on, they were obviously still wet. So we've not gone in the pool and we've actually brought dinner earlier. So we're going to go for dinner and then we might look around St. Ives or we might go to the pool. We'll see. But let me show you my nails. They're so good. How nice are they? So they're like a grey nude, she called them. And then the, the ring finger is a um, shimmery grey. But yeah, I really like them. And then Simon's had his massage. Did you enjoy it? I did. Loved it. <laughs> um, she did my back and my shoulders, which was great. Yeah. Because I have trouble with those. Yeah, for all your rugby playing. I know. <laughs> 
So we're coming into the Castle Bar and Brasserie for some dinner. <laughs> so nice. This is a nice, we're in the right in the corner. It's nice, isn't it? Put him. <laughs> this is our view. This is nice. I love all the little fish. I think I'm gonna get a chorizo chicken and smoked bacon lasagna. So a salad and garlic bread. Oh, look at this lasagna. Oh my gosh, it looks absolutely incredible. But it's not, can I try it because it's not a normal lasagna. No, it? yeah, of course you can try it, but it's chorizo, chicken and bacon. Sounds great. And then what have you got? So I've got smoked duck breast with yeah. a fondant potato. Yeah. And pak choy and port and plum sauce. Looks amazing. It's great, doesn't it? Bon appetit. That meal was absolutely delicious and we've purposely not had dessert because we're going to go out to town now and have some Cornish fudge. <laughs> So we're going on a late walk, so there's Tregenna Castle and we are just going to walk down this road. Or we're going all the way down to the sea. Yeah, it's all the way down to the beach. So this is the Primrose Valley. Oh, it's steep. Oh, it's very steep. Look at these palm trees. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? God, are we in the UK still? People don't realise it's quite subtropical down here. You get the Gulf Stream. This is nice, isn't it? The sun's going to set soon. Yeah. We should go to back towards the island because the sun will set over that surfing beach right and man's head because it's going to set in the east uh, sorry in the west so we need to go over that side shall we do it and have yeah, a look let's have a walk over them. that way look at them all in the in the ca it's a, canoe that, it's called a gig a gig yeah it's called a gig boat and they race them so different towns will have a boat and they will probably be practicing for the race there's a guy over there paddle boarding how cool is that just on your own out, out in the sea, looking out at St. Ives. But that's amazing. It is so beautiful. It almost looks kind of French, this bit here. Where you used to live yeah up on that hill so you've got the closest one to the end with the side windows that's number 12 so 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 the one that's got the orange glass because it's yeah. got the sun on it the one next to it wow it was our house so so hang on a oh no we're not going to be able to do it that one No, I can't no. <laughs> but yeah, I get you. Oh wow, so you had this view? Yeah, <gasps> so looking over the bay, yeah. That is amazing. What a view. And then the restaurant was just down there. Just down there, yeah. Amazing. There's some lovely little roads down here. We're going, we're on a hunt for some fudge, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, this is the main shopping street. It's called Four Street. Okay. And it's basically parallel to the seafront. It's so cute, little cobbled streets. Oh, I've gone for a Maltese fridge. And then Simon got fudge Sunday. Oh, they have Rocky Road. Oh, lovely. Thank you. We've got our fudge <laughs> and we're heading to look to see the sun setting over St. Anne. <laughs> look at the colour of the sky! Everyone's doing barbecues and things.
that steep hill we were going down we're now going up it and we are exhausted <laughs> it's been a lovely night though hasn't it yeah, it's lovely beautiful. and crisp yeah so it's just still setting a little bit it's so nice i love it this is so so nice it's great you have really i just can't be sorry go on i say so you got the really nice orangey lights for the palm trees in the background i it's know just... i just can't believe you grew up here I know. I know you talk to me about it but this is like a holiday destination and you live it is here. a holiday destination it is a holiday destination and you lived here your whole life it's amazing yeah. oh, i am exhausted no wonder you were fit growing up because those hills <laughs> are ridiculous i do that walk to school every day yeah Oh, if you want to get fit, move to Cornwall. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you enjoyed our first few days in Cornwall. Stay tuned for next week for even more. Like this video if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week. Bye! Make your memories, make your memories. Take your pictures, make your memories. Make your memories, make your memories.